Namaste. Welcome back to our channel, Cubit Educational Services. I am Pranesh. We are solving the ISR Aptitude Test 2021 Physics MCQs. And this is our ninth video in that series where we will be solving question number 54. This is based on logic gates from semiconductor electronics. Let's read the problem. A two input exclusive OR or XOR gate with inputs X and Y produces the output X bar Y plus X Y bar. In the Boolean circuit shown below, which values of the inputs P and Q will produce the output 0? Okay, so here are the inputs PQ. If you look at the Boolean circuit, it has three gates in it. The first gate is XOR, the second gate is AND, and the outputs of XOR and AND gate gates are connected to, or they are the inputs of the NAND gate. So let us try to solve this problem backwards. So let us start with the NAND gate. What is the output? Output is 1. Oh, sorry, output is 0. Output is 0. NAND or gates output is 0. Now we know that NAND is the negation of AND. Right? Negation of AND. So if NAND gates output is 0, okay, it means that this is corresponding to that combination of inputs where the AND output is 1. Okay, and if AND gates output is 1, we know that both the inputs should be 1. Correct? Both inputs must be 1. Correct? So when I say both inputs must be 1, I mean these inputs to NAND gate should be 1. 1, 1 and then see. If both are 1, AND gates output will be 1 and therefore NAND gates output will be 0. Correct? And that also answers uh, the Q part here. Let us now go to the AND gate. What is its output? AND gates output is 1. Correct? AND gates output is 1. So both the inputs must be 1. Therefore Q should be equal to 1 because the other input is already 1 so Q should also be 1. Now Q is 1 so B and C are 1 because their Q is 0. So it is either option A or option D and that will be decided by the value of the input P. Okay, now let us go to the XOR gate. Okay, let us go to XOR. If you don't know the input output table corresponding to the XOR gate, you can either uh, find it, determine it by considering this Boolean uh, statement X bar Y plus X Y bar or I will tell you the difference between the exclusive OR gate and the inclusive OR gate. In fact, that will be easier for you because you might already be knowing the input output table for the inclusive OR gate, which is sometimes called as just OR gate. Okay, so let's quickly go through that. Suppose the inputs are X and Y and this is the inclusive OR and this is the exclusive OR. Okay, so 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now for inclusive OR, at least one input should be 1, okay, at least 1, so 1, 1, 1 and 0. So this you probably know. Okay, now when it comes to exclusive OR, the condition is exactly one input must be 1. And here the we say at least. Okay, so the words at least and exactly they matter, rather they change the output columns for the inclusive OR and exclusive OR, okay. See now when I say exactly one input must be one, only two of the conditions uh, or the two of the input combinations will yield to an output one of the exclusive OR. One, zero, zero, one, exactly one. So for zero, zero it is already zero. But for 1, 1, this is the main distinguishing part. Inclusive OR will say at least 1, so 1, okay, both are 1. But for exclusive OR, exactly one input must be 1. So even if both the inputs are 1, the output of the exclusive OR gate should be 0, correct? So that is the difference between the truth columns or the, well, truth column is uh, a term that we use in the reasoning, logic, mathematics, and here we use the input output table or the output column we can say okay 
so that's the main feature you may take a note of it here it is one 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 for inclusive or it is one for exclusive or it is zero now let's return to the boolean circuit xor's output is one so when is the xor's output one exactly one input is one and one of the inputs is already one so p must be zero p must be zero and that is option a okay p must be zero so it could either be one zero or zero one okay all right so we have solved the problem if you want you can build the input output table for the exclusive or gate using the boolean expression x bar y plus x y bar you can easily do that x bar means negation of x or the not not gate uh, x bar into y means well so there is no symbol here in between so that corresponds to and plus corresponds to inclusive or and again the same thing x uh, y bar so y bar is not not of y and uh, x into that will be the and part so that is question number 54 if you know the output of the xor gate then you can actually solve this problem within hardly one or two steps okay so that was 54th